hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel it's your girl dad gilly chick so guys today i'm going to be showing you the rest of this auto gilly tutorial we started some days ago so this is the part two of this video i've uploaded the part one already so guys we are going to continue on the mannequin head in the part two i showed you guys how we did the measurements we cut down the measurement and how we um, sold it on the sewing machine till the stage so now this is the part two and the part two is we're going to be practically tying it on the mannequin head and we'll be tacking it together so guys you need to learn how to tie it so i'll be dropping down some links in the description box so that you can check how to tie Gilio. you can check out my videos on my channel and you will definitely see a lot of videos on how to tie gilly that will help you on your auto gilly game so i'm just trying to pick my pleats i'm forming like a round the style is a round and fan and it has a rose so i'm starting off with a round and i'm just picking it step by step like the pleats are going to be on each other so that's just what i'm doing right here So I'm just using my big needle to like hold it down together before I'm able to sew it and then I'll go to the other end of the pleat and arrange it neatly then I'll be using a thread to like tie it down before I'm able to start sucking it down with my needle and thread. So I'm done arranging this part of my autogilly which is my round and I'm just about to just tie it right now at the back. So you need to like prepare a thread that when you're done arranging you tie it down immediately so it won't scatter before you start tacking with your needle and thread. So you see i'm just still using my needle by this side to support it i'm not using tr um, thread it's just the needle it's a na naked needle there is no thread in it i'm just holding it down before i am done with this side so this other parts of the gilly i'll be doing um, a fan so you know how to create your fan you can watch it out on my videos as i said earlier i'll drop the link on how you can tie gilly so i'll drop down the link on how you can create your fan so you can do this while you're making your auto gilly i'm just practically picking a little at the front and bigger sizes at the end and i'm slanting it that's how i'm creating my fan so right now we begin tacking so just watch carefully how i am tacking i'm tacking in a way that i would not want my thread to be showing or to be obvious so i'm like just watch carefully you understand so watch what i just did right here i just crossed over my round above the fan i crossed over the round above the fan so notes in your measurements we measured some part of our 
um, measurement as 25 inches and we measured another part of it 20 inches so the 25 inches that i cut in four places is the one i use for the fan which is on my left hand side well the 20 inches is is the one i use to create the round i don't know if you understand what i'm saying but just play this video over and over again you understand what i'm saying So guys you see that i'm just twisting it you know if you're tying it you're definitely going to twist it at the back if you're tying like a double fan or you're tying like a fan and around so you're going to twist it at the back before you tie so you're, you're practically doing the same thing so i'm just twisting it and i'm tacking it together to make it stay in place that's just what i am doing So one thing you shouldn't get tired of doing while making your auto delay is that you're just going to keep arranging. At some point your pleats will loosen up and you have to start redoing it again. So just be patient and keep trying. You're going to get this. There is no magic in it. Practice makes perfect guys. If you like, you're scared of using an ashoke because you think maybe it might not come out well. You can buy a chinook material. Yeah, a chinox material. Or you can just get a very a fabric that is a bit thicker that is that looks like an ashoki and you can practice this this at home So now I'm starting to tack officially so I will take it out of my mannequin set because everything is set right now it will not scatter no matter how because to some extent I have put it in place so I'm going to start tacking putting my thread so remember guys when you are tacking the the exact points that you put your needle in that you pierce your needle in should not be far from the, the same point you bring it back so you're trying to tack in a way that your your thread will not be showing you will be concealing your thread because you don't want all the thread glaring and showing all around you want your auto get it looking neat so that's the whole point of this tacking you have to make it neat and not so obvious that there is so much thread involved So guys so sorry about the sun reflection on the gilly 
but I'm sure you can still see and understand what I am doing. I am just still arranging and I am tacking. That's just what I am doing. So friends, if you've watched this video to this point and you enjoyed and you like what you see and you feel this video has been impactful, please support your girl, subscribe to my YouTube channel, like, comment and share my video. Please guys, I need to hear your comments. What are your thoughts concerning this Otto Gili? Do you think it's detailed enough? Do you have questions? Let me know and I'll be sure to answer and reply every bit and one of your questions in the comment section. Please friends note that when you are tacking you are not going to be drawing your needle so tight like you don't want it to be that tight we just want that effect that okay it's, it's not going to be scattered it's going to stay together but you don't have to drag it to be very tight and firm if not your ghillie will be looking flat it will not look like a ghillie that is tied on the head the whole point of this auto ghillie is for it to look like a ghillie that is tied Many people do not like Otogili when it looks like Otogili, but when it looks like Gili that is tight, people love it. So that is what we are trying to achieve right here. So try as much as possible when you are attacking your Otogili that you don't make it too tight. Just make sure that the thread and needle pass through and it's okay. There is space in between, like you can still feel the space when you put your fingers in between. So we are done tacking the whole body of the otogili right now we are going to attach a strap so this is a remainder of the ashoke i have so it's 14 inches but if you have 12 inches 12 inches will do so there is no particular measurement but you could okay you can measure um, the small parts that i'm that cutting very small you can measure it like three inches and then the wide parts you can measure it um let's say five inches 
so i'm trying to manage that as well but if i have enough i would have cut another 14 inches to put on the other part of the strap so you just put it together like this or you can as well put it on your head and see where the two hands meet so where the two hands meet the excess there you're going to cut it off so that's what i'm just trying to show you here So guys i'm done tacking this side and i'm cutting out the excess so the same thing i did on this strap i'm going to do on the other strap before i will take it down to my sewing machine and then sew it down so just keep watching guys So right now as it is we are done with our usugili the next step we're going to be doing is to be making our rules and you're just going to be right like sketching out a circle i'm using a cotton fabric you can get any fabric of your choice better still you can get uh, the same color of fabric that you are using on the usugili so it will match so but i'm using this white because this is what i have available right now and i'm just going to cut out this circle shape and then this is what I'm going to use to sew down my rose on. I'm going to sew my rose on this.
so we are going to make our rows so but you are going to cut down three or four inches based on your um, choice or what you like or how big you want it to be so but i'm cutting down four inches and the length is going to be 28 or 30 inches so that's what i'll be cutting down so you just cut down three or four inches wide and 28 or 30 inches long depending on your discretion like what you like so i'm just going to fold it together and i'm going to sew it down straight like straight down So guys i just did the running stitches like i'm like i just ran my needle through it's not a neat sewing like i just ran my needle through so that it can have this curvy flowery effect that's just what i did right here So guys, I'm sewing it down right now on that um, on that fabric. I traced, I sketched out my circle. So I'm sewing these um, pieces that I've measured four inches wide and 28 inches long, and I'm forming like a circle when I'm sewing it down. At some point, my my machine was giving me headache, so I concluded this um, process with my hand. So you can as well use your hand needle and try to achieve this without your machine you can achieve this with your hand needle some people even use gum so but it depends on the texture of the fabric this fabric is really thick so i don't suggest you using gum to make this flowery effect guys i'm just sewing it down i'm tacking it together and that's just it just try to make it as neat as possible we don't want all the thread showing at the top so you just do that neatly So guys that's pretty much the end of our tutorial i hope this gilly tutorial has been helpful and will be impactful guys i would love and appreciate if you practice this and i would love to hear your comments your views what are your thoughts concerning this tutorial thank you guys for watching my video see you next time on another interesting video bye bye